everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally and in today's video we're going to go back to the project that I did on natural forms and I was doing some textile samples to follow that theme and so what I want to do today is I've got a couple of different photographs left from that project and I'd like to develop one of the pictures of a tree trunk. I'm going to use some couching and some layered fabrics, perhaps a bit of slashing of fabric as well, and dyeing a bit of fabric as well, and some string. All right then, let's get straight into it. Okie dokie, so what I'm doing here is I've got various different fabrics and I'm going back and forth looking at the image on the laptop uh, of the tree trunk. And I'm using the vol fabric first. And I'm dipping it into the brush out dye, just with a paintbrush. Should probably be wearing some plastic gloves there, but I'm not. I'm just going to rep my fingers as ever. So um, I'm also going to be dipping in some string into the brush out dye just to get some different colours that I can use for the couching. Now that I've dyed quite a few different colours of string and a couple of different fabrics, I am ready to start couching. So these are the fabrics I've got, that was the vol that I dyed with the brown dye and then we've got some hessian fabric here which I just used a little bit of brusho green dye on and then this is some neutral t-shirt material and I thought that would be nice to use as the background and then I'll probably place the hessian on top and then I also want to use some of this wool here just because it is really nice and chunky and I think it will work well at this image here and the circular bit of the tree trunk. I'm going to sort of use this wool like so and put the roll over the top and then I'm going to couch over the top with some of these threads so I'll probably use this this green over the top to couch it and then as you know I have got all of these different dyed strings that have come out really well so I'm going to be placing those on top of the fabric and couching those down. yes the brown came out quite strong and deep in parts and lighter in other parts so I'm also going to manipulate and distort this fabric, just going to rip it and shred it and maybe slash it with some scissors so that I can see through to some of the other layers and the wool, obviously, a little bit underneath. What I've been doing here is literally either snipping into the fabric or just dragging the scissors through and making some small holes or just stretching it a little bit with my fingers. Oh, are you coming to say hello now? Hi. Like that. I can always add some more slashes into it. I just want to see through to the next layer. So I'm going to use a little bit of this embroidery thread. A 
Okay, so I've laid down the wool underneath and trapped it. And now I'm going to take my needle behind the fabrics and do a couching stitch over the top. So I've just come from behind, over the top, back down, and then you come up again. And it will just hold that wool in place and give a bit of a bumpy sort of design. But that's kind of what I want from this tree trunk. I'll speed this up. Next what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the green string and lay it down in the photograph which I've just looked at. I've threaded up my needle with some blue embroidery thread and then once again I'm going to start from the back of my fabric and do little couching stitches. If you can imagine, I always say it like this, but it's like doing a little bridge over the top of the string. So you're taking your thread over the top and it just leaves a little fleck there of colour and holds your string down. Let's change the viewpoint. So Break your little, little gaps over the top. That's what it looks like. So that's it with the green string and blue thread and next I'm going to be doing some blue string holding it down with some purple. So again I'm just following the image and the ends of the tree trunk and I'll show you how I get on.
So I hope you enjoyed this video today and if you did don't forget to give me a like and subscribe down below and I try to post every week, kind of gone from two to one or one to two and that's all I'm managing at the minute with other stuff that's going on. Please join me on a Monday. Bye!